let's take a look at the worst nightmare of my life. I saw my wife's true face for the first time. I thought she was a saint, but I was wrong. If you want more heartbreaking cheating wife stories, click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. My wife, Anissa, is 32 years old. My age is 31 and I am Steve. Anissa worked for a company and I was a police officer. We first met when she reported her missing car to the police station in order to find out I helped her out. After saying that, I told her to calm down and that we would find her car, but it would take some time to locate it. There was a calmness about her at that time. I dropped her off at home since she did not have a car. The pretty girl insisted to have coffee to thank her for her help, so we had coffee. My number was taken by her. After that, our friendship began to develop. It was also the fact that she looked like my ex-girlfriend who dumped me for another man that made me attracted to her. As a result, I always tried to get in touch with her whenever possible. A couple of times a day, I had to send her a message. I used to talk to her a lot because she was always jolly, which made me feel comfortable. It was something planned that we would have lunch together. To put it simply, we began dating, in other words, a few months ago. There was no problem with it at all. The topic of her success and of her position in the company is always talked about by her. My advice to her is to be consistent and one day she will be able to reach her goal. In addition, our bond was getting stronger because I was an optimist and always saw things as positive but she was a girl and it was obvious girls have a complicated perspective on everything so I always supported her in anything she did. I could feel, however, the hunger for success in her, which is a good thing. She also felt a spark in her heart when it came to me, so one day she called me and uh, when I got there, she sat on her knees and asked me to get married to her. The whole thing was a surprise to me since, to be honest, most boys did not have much experience with girls proposing to them, therefore it was a bit shock to me. When I was in the middle of that, I was completely still. However, when I learned to control my emotions, I said yes to her and hugged her tightly. During next three weeks, we were preparing to get married. It was a very happy moment for her and I was very happy as a result. As soon as I saw her, I couldn't help but fall in love with her. Angels like her were few and far between. It is surprising to say that after I got married to her, after three days, I got promoted at work. She was like a lucky charm for me in a way. However, we enjoyed a high quality of life at the time. It is a fact that both of us were always very busy with our jobs, but during the evenings we enjoyed a lot of time together. There is nothing better than a romantic dinner watching Netflix with your special someone. It is true that she is sometimes fed up with her work. However, I make her feel fine by taking her to various parks where there are rights or fun zones for her to enjoy. It was one day after our marriage of seven months. My understanding of why she left her job is unclear to me. She also told me that she had been offered a job by another company. This job offers a salary that is much higher than what I was offered before and gives me the position of the head of the department at this other company. I was delighted to hear this good news. In order to celebrate her success, we arranged a party for her. The fact that she accomplished what she set out to do made me very happy. My reason for doing this was to make sure that she achieved her goals. Things started getting worse from this point onwards. It was literally the first time that I had no idea what was going to happen or what was going to be said. My happiness was only a result of happiness of her. There was a noticeable increase in the amount of time she spent in her office. She told me that as the head of the department, she had to handle everything and it took her a lot of time to do so. Therefore, she worked from 9 a.m. to the 10 p.m. from morning to night, although I always advise her to take care of her health too. Even though she has a new job, doesn't mean that you will forget about your health. The fact that she was working hard in the office was known to me. She sometimes just comes and sleeps without having a chance to eat dinner before she drifts off to sleep. I was concerned about her well-being. I was unfortunate enough to be assigned the night duty by my department. It was even worse for me because she would come to my house to sleep at night when I was on duty and when I went back to my house to rest in the morning, she would leave for her job. During the last two months, we hardly spent any time together. 
if any at all. I came home one night after getting off work because I had seen feeling sick that day so I stayed home. I was discovered that Anissa was asleep while her cell phone was on which means that she fell asleep while using her cell phone. Turning off the phone is the first thing I do after I pick it up. In spite of this, I was not able to turn off the notifications and instead begin scrolling. There was a picture of her naked in the gallery that I saw. Although these pictures were taken a week ago, I had never seen this before and she did not even send them to me. My gut feeling told me that something was wrong, so I opened all of her chatting sections and found that she was sending her nude pictures to her boss. When I learned that she got her job, when she slept with her new boss, I was shocked. My whole body was shaken to the core. This is what I was thinking and what she was doing at the same time. My first impression of her was that she was the most loyal person I had ever met. In fact, I was unable to believe what I had seen with my own eyes. There were three times that I scrolled through the chat window. Would it be possible to confirm that it is real? Unfortunately, I found out that it was a real thing. The feeling of disgust I felt was very strong. In my opinion, the face of my wife is pretty, but there is a cheater behind every pretty face. It is true that she was selfish in her desire to succeed, but I was not aware that she would commit such a sin in order to get a fine position within the company. Anyhow, I am a very self-centered individual and... As such, I started thinking about what to do now. There was a game she played with my loyalty and trust. In my mind, I wanted her to suffer the worst possible consequences for what she had done. So I sent all of her nudes to the office staff at her office from her number so they could have a look at them. As a result, I took screenshots of the sexting they were doing and the phone numbers of her few colleagues at the office, then sent them the screenshots that I've taken. The next morning she saw me in shock when she awoke because she had no clue that I would be there. It was a long night for me as I sat there for entire time. It was because of what I saw that I was then able to sleep that night. In the meantime, I tried to act as though nothing had happened. Then she left for work. I did not go on duty. I told him I was sick and my doctor recommended that I take rest for a while. It was at night that she came home. She looked very nervous and upset as if she was about to burst into tears at any moment. When I asked her what the problem was, she did not answer me and said that it was just the stress of work that was causing it. Afterwards, she locked her up in a room for a while. It was the last time I asked her. She did not attend work the following day because she did not feel like going. I asked her if she felt good and she replied that she did not. There was no doubt in my mind that she was getting extremely upset about what had happened to her. In fact, she is not even able to ask me about this subject. It was as if she had no clue what to do. On that night, I leaked the content of her chat with the office staff to her colleagues. The next day, she went to the work and came home once again while crying. In the meantime, I called all of her friends and family to come over as I had something that I wanted to show them. When they arrived, I told them to wait for a while until Anissa arrived so they could see if she had arrived yet. It was screenshots of her chat that I had printed out. Upon Anissa's arrival, I gave her parents and friends all the screenshots that I had taken. Copies of her chats were also given to her by me. Suddenly, she started crying badly and then she finally confessed what had happened to her. Now that she knew she was sharing her private chat with the boss, she was able to get the bottom of it. Moreover, she also revealed to me that she had been fired by her boss as well. She was sobbing like a baby. Then I told her that she deserved what she had gone because she broke my trust just for the sake of her success in the company and you shared a bed with your boss. You're currently facing all of the circumstances and you will be able to see how the situation develops. Her boss has filed a lawsuit against her for defamation of character and a police officer came to house to arrest her. My response to her was to tell her to get out of my house as soon as possible. After telling me everything, she started begging me, saying that if you could forgive me, I would be a better person. I don't know where I would go if I had to leave. My love for you and the fact that I am your wife means everything to me. As I said before, you are not my wife. 
you are going to get divorced from me as well. There was no way she was going out of the house. Consequently, the police drag her from the house and force her to leave. The fact that she had committed such a crime was also regretted by her parents. By shouting loudly, she unfortunately caused a great deal of chaos in society. My relationship with her ended and I don't consider her my wife anymore. She's finally getting along with the police now that she has been escorted. I do not know where she has ended up. In addition to that, she was fired from her job as well. Due to her own greed and extramarital affair, all of this happened. There is more she deserves than this. In the aftermath of the divorce, she attempted to contact me several times. Nevertheless, I was not interested in meeting her. Even her parents called me to ask me to forgive her, but I could not because I had already made my mind up, and now I'm very happy alone. I'm living my quality time at the moment without her. The most important thing I've learned from this experience is never ever to expect anything from anyone, not even your loved ones. As long as you expect anything from anyone, you will be hurt as a result.